we want to determine the factors of 30. Factors are whole numbers that divide evenly into another number. So we're looking for all the whole numbers that divide evenly into 30 to determine the factors of 30. It's also true that if x times y is equal to 30, and x and y are whole numbers, then x and y would also be factors of 30. So when trying to determine the factors of a number that's fairly small, like 30, it's probably going to be easier if we use this definition of a factor. Meaning if we can find the pairs of whole numbers that have a product of 30, we can determine all of the factors of 30. So what we're going to do is make a multiplication table for 30. So for example, 1 times 30 is equal to 30. Therefore, 1 and 30 are factors of 30. They both divide evenly into 30. 2 times 15 is also equal to 30. So these are factors of 30. Next, we'd have 3 times 10. That's equal to 30. And the last pair of factors would be 5 times 6. All of these whole numbers divide evenly into 30 and therefore are factors of 30. Now we don't want to leave our answer like this. We should make a list of these factors. So the factors of 30, and we should list these from least to greatest. So we'll have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Now as we try to determine the factors of larger and larger numbers, using a multiplication table like this does become much more challenging. So there's also a method for determining the factors using the prime factorization of the given number. So let's take a look at one more example using the prime factorization method. Let's try to determine the factors of 54. We are going to make a multiplication table like we did before, but we're going to use the prime factorization of 54 to help us complete the multiplication table. So let's start by listing the prime factorization of 54. So we'll make a factor tree for 54. Well, 54 is equal to 6 times 9. Neither of these are prime. 6 is equal to 2 times 3, which are both prime. And 9 is equal to 3 times 3, which are both prime. So for the prime factorization of 54, we would have 1 factor of 2 and 3 factors of 3. So we'll use this to help us make a complete multiplication table for 54. So now we're going to try to determine pairs of whole numbers that have a product of 54. And we don't want to forget about the most obvious one of 1 times 54. Next, looking at the prime factorization, 54 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3 times 3, that would be 27. So 2 times 27 would be equal to 54. And we could also use 1 factor of 3, and then 2 times 3 times 3, that would be 3 times 18. These would also be two factors of 54. We can see that 4 and 5 are not factors of 54, but 6 is. Here we have 2 times 3, that's 6. So 6 times 3 times 3, that's 9, or 6 times 9. Those would be factors of 54. And then looking at the prime factorization of 54, we're not going to be able to use any other combinations of these prime factors to determine any additional factors, because there aren't any. So the factors of 54 are going to be 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 18, 27, and 54. Now, if you know your multiplication tables really well, the prime factorization of 54 probably wasn't necessary to determine all of the factors of 54, but it can be very helpful when determining factors of much larger numbers, which we'll take a look at in the next example. I hope this was helpful.